We'll start out with an outfit of the day. This outfit has some obsessions of mine in it. I love this medium washed denim jacket. Underneath that, I'm wearing a very comfortable mustard t-shirt. I'm wearing my Diane Gilman jeans that are boot cut. And I'm wearing my necklace from Haute Corrals. The shoes I'm wearing are my favorite obsession. They're my Massimo Cassie combat boots. This is my outfit of the day, super casual and lots of denim. Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla, hopefully everyone is doing well. This is gonna be a video on some products that I've really been enjoying, loving, using. Some products that I've really been reaching for a lot the past couple weeks. It kind of goes over a variety of things. One's a body scrub, some lipstick products, some facial oils, a facial razor, a lip scrub. Let's start first with two lipsticks that I have really been reaching for the past couple weeks. One is from Milani. I am a big fan of these Milani. And what is the official name of these? Let's see. I don't see an official name on here. <laughs> so they're basically just the Milani lipsticks. I like these. For some reason, they remind me of MAC. I don't know if it's because of their smell or what the scent. They remind me of MAC lipsticks, but I am obsessed. I am obsessed with the shade. It is number 61. It's called Matte Naked. I'm wearing it right now with a lip liner. It is so pretty. These really don't dry my lips out. They give me a little bit of a matte look to my lips, but not that really drying matte feeling that I hate on my lips. You can always put a lip gloss on these. I use them all the time. I love their scent. I don't know. It smells like, like a vanilla or something good. <laughs> this has been one of my favorite nudes for my skin coloring. I get washed out a lot when I wear the concealer color lipsticks, but this shade just has enough color in it that it doesn't wash me out and doesn't make me look like a corpse. Number 61, Matte Naked from Milani. This has been a lipstick I have been reaching for quite a lot the past couple weeks. The second thing I've been using the past couple weeks is this gadget. Now you guys know I am a gadget person. I love gadgets. I especially like gadgets that work. You know, it's always nice to have a gadget that works. But I bought this off of Amazon. It is a hair remover. It's not an epilator. It's actually just a shaver. I use it on my face and it's by LexCare. And it came in this really nice sturdy box with little instructions in here. And this is how it comes. I'll show you a picture of it. What's really cool about this facial razor is on one end is the battery, but on this end, you take it off. There is the razor. You turn it on. And I don't know if you can see, I'll give you a close up. There's actually a little light that goes on, like you're shaving your face in the dark or something. I don't know. <laughs> But I really like this razor for just little tiny peach fuzz kind of hair. It really takes off all different kinds of hair on my face, but I don't really have any coarse hairs on my face. I have mainly just little peach fuzz, but it does a really good job of removing the peach fuzz. I have been shaving my face since I've been 21 after I read an article that was written in Vogue or something about some of the models that shave their face to give them a really smooth surface to put their foundation on. And I just, I love shaving my face. My hair has not grown back any thicker because of shaving my face. I just really like a very clean, smooth surface to put my makeup on. And it also comes with this little cleaning brush. I have really been enjoying this little facial hair remover. It wasn't really that expensive. I always like to have a really smooth surface to put my foundation on and uh, the rest of my makeup. Lex Care Shaver, and I will put all the information for all the products down in the description box. From the Octoly website was this product from Ofra. I actually got a couple of things from Ofra. I can honestly tell you I've never tried one Ofra product before. These are my first group of Ofra products that I've ever 
tested out, ever used. So I saw this on the website and mine's a little messy because mine's been in the shower. This is the Ofra Body Derm Coffee Body Scrub. Yes, coffee, coffee body scrub. I know, I know how you feel. Some people feel about coffee scrubs in the shower. I know some of them are messy, but this one was really kind of nice. It's supposed to exfoliate, refine, and minimize your pores. Special complexion clearing formula provides radiant and balanced skin. So when you open this up, it looks like this. Before I show you the up close video of this, I could eat this stuff. This smells like coffee with a hint of chocolate? I don't know. Definitely a strong, strong coffee flavor. If you don't like the smell of coffee, you will not like this, but I am obsessed with coffee. So I could just paint this all over my body and just let it there for days. This is really kind of nice. I really like it. I haven't used a coffee scrub in such a long time. I wanted to try this one out. I've tried coffee scrubs before that were like in packets and you'd pull a clump of kind of dry coffee scrub granules out of a pack and the coffee would be everywhere all over your shower. This really is much nicer than that because it has a really nice consistency, almost like a coffee cream, so that when you rub it on your skin, it's not as messy in the shower as some of the coffee scrubs I've used in the past. This coffee body scrub by Okfra has gentle ingredients that's supposed to exfoliate your skin and also reduce the appearance of cellulite. It's also supposed to tighten and smooth the skin and make it look healthier. It contains jojoba, mango, and almond oils, and those are going to both moisturize the skin while it cleanses the skin. The coffee is loaded with antioxidants, which help with premature aging and also sunspots. To exfoliate your skin, they recommend just applying it with gentle circular motions and then just rinse and dry off. Besides the Ofra coffee scrub exfoliating the dead skin cells and helping to reduce cellulite, it also improves circulation and helps reduce inflammation in the skin. So I really enjoyed this coffee scrub. I am so thankful to Ofra. They did give me a 30% off discount code. I will put that in the description box below. I want to thank them. That was very generous. So if anybody's interested in Ofra, I will leave that 30% off discount code below this video. Another product I got that I didn't think I really liked until I kept using it. This is a lip scrub and it's from beautyforreal.com, Miami Beach, Florida. And when I first got it, there was like this little tiny little piece of tape here, <laughs> not a safety seal. You know, I was kind of looking at it like, should I really use this or not? But it looks like there's sugar in there. It smells like chewing gum a little bit a chewing gum with some essential oils in it. Basically, that's what it smells like to me. When I first put this on my lips, I said to myself, this is not doing anything. I mean, this is nothing special. But the more I used this, it felt like it was plumping my lips a little bit. So what I would do is I would rub this on my lips before I was gonna go out, wipe it off, and then put my lipstick on. And it really felt like I was getting a really nice exfoliation on my lips. But I felt like my lips were getting a plumper. I don't know why. I don't know if there's something in this that, you know, cayenne or whatever that makes your lips feel a little bit plumper, but I, I really did enjoy this. It does have kind of a sugary consistency. You do have to kind of dip your finger in here or use something to get it out. I've been using this the past several weeks. I just wish the container would have been bigger. I bought this off of Amazon and when I first saw it on the Amazon website, I thought it was going to be like a jar maybe this big. So it's only this big. I was kind of hoping for a bigger jar for the price. I'm going to use this whole container, let you know how I feel about it in a couple weeks. But so far, I've really, really enjoyed using this on my lips. So what I normally do is I just stick my finger in here. Just take a little bit, not much, and... It just feels like it plumps up my lips a little bit. Whether it really does or not, I don't know. But it just feels like I get a little bit of a plumping action to my lips. And it tastes like sugar. Another product I've been using the past several weeks is this Rosehip 
facial oil. This is a product that was sent to me from Octoly. I specifically requested this product because I am a huge fan of Morgan Miller. I love the vitamin C. I think it's vitamin C and ginseng facial sheet masks by this. This is a Korean company. I love the vitamin C and ginseng facial masks that Morgan Miller makes. I, I just ordered another bunch of them because I use them so much. I really wanted to test out this rose hip facial oil. I had some rose hip oil that I bought a long time ago. I had to get rid of it because I just didn't use it. I've kind of tried to come up with a system to make sure I use all my oils and rotate them on a weekly basis. That way I get through all my products without having them go bad. But this rose hip facial oil is supposed to be anti-aging. It contains beta carotene, helps diminish fine lines. It's supposed to tone and calm. There's lavender in here to tone and calm skin that's dry, irritated, or stressed. And the antioxidant rosemary leaf helps to fight free radicals. It's good for all skin types. I've had a lot of really good luck with Morgan Miller facial oils. I love the little box that this comes in because it has a little rose on the side of it. But I'm going to take this off and let you see what it's says uh, this is the facial oil it says rose hip oil it comes from the seeds of a specific variety of rose its cold press extraction method separates the oil from the hips and the seeds for facial skin care rose hip oil offers several benefits when applied externally due to the fact that it's made up of essential fatty acids vitamin e vitamin c beta carotene and a form of vitamin a so this oil would be great for an anti-aging regime if you like to include facial oils in your skincare, which I do. I always use a facial oil almost every day in my skincare routine. This rose hip seed oil would be great for treating fine lines and wrinkles, for irritated skin, for dry skin. And if you're not familiar with the products from Morgan Miller, it is a K-beauty brand. You guys know I buy these products with my own money also, even though I have some sent to me. I love Morgan Miller and I love their oils. I love their facial wipes. I love their facial masks. This is a brand that I really do enjoy using. So this is the Rose Hip Seed Oil from Morgan Miller. Another obsession of mine has been these wetter spoon Manuka honey drops. They contain ginger with euthanasia. If you don't know my story, I take a lot of medications to help with the pain from my fibromyalgia and small fiber neuropathy. The meds make my mouth really dry and sometimes they even upset my tummy. So the ginger in this really seems to settle my stomach and these lozenges just soothe my throat and give my mouth a little bit of moisture. They do have some sugar in. I don't use a lot of them. I may use one a day or one every couple of days depending on how dry my mouth is. But I like the combination of the euchanasia with the ginger and these taste so good. They don't taste like medicine at all and the little bit of ginger seems to settle my tummy issues. So these are the Wetterspoon Organic Manuka Honey Drops with ginger and euchanasia. Asia. And finally, the last product I've been using this past several weeks is a little ink paint for my lips. It's called Airy Ink Velvet. The company that makes it, I believe, is called Peri Para. And this is number five, I think. It's all in Chinese or some Asian language, so I can't read what else is on the bottom of this. This is a really kind of cool lip paint. I like this because it stains my lips after it wears off. So if I put this on my lips and maybe put a little gloss on, even once the gloss wears off, this stain stays on my lips and it has a very moussey kind of texture going on. So even though it is kind of a liquid lipstick, it's not the same liquid lipsticks that dry hard on your lips. This always has a moussey kind of texture, moussey consistency on the lips, doesn't really make my lips feel dried out, doesn't crack on my lips doesn't seem to get that build up film on my lips. And if I rub it in, it leaves a really nice stain on my lips. Because it doesn't dry down completely, you still can get a little bit of transfer, but that's okay because I do not like typical dry liquid lipsticks. Let me put this on. You can see what this looks like on. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on. I'm not gonna put a lip liner on with this. I really like the little kind of doe foot applicator. 
It leaves sort of a very silky stain on my lips. This feels really good on my lips, especially if I moisturize my lips with my lip scrub. And then sometimes I just put on a gloss on top and go about my day. And then if the gloss goes away, I still have a little bit of the stain underneath on my lips. I've really been enjoying that color. I really think the color is pretty. It brightens up my face. It's going to be a great color for spring and summer. And it's been one of my little obsessions the past couple of weeks. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my little monthly obsession this past several weeks. I've always enjoyed bringing you some products, especially some new things you might not be familiar with. Take care, everyone. If you want any more information about any of these products, I have everything down in the description box with the colors that I was wearing. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.